Hello, welcome to this video involving calculations on moles. What we are given is 35% weight by weight of hydrochloric acid solution. We know the specific gravity or density, which is 1.18 grams per milliliters of solution, grams of hydrochloric acid per milliliters of solution, Okay. And we also know that the molar mass is 36.5 grams per mole of hydrochloric acid. And what we have to find out is the molarity of hydrochloric acid. So molarity, what is molarity? Molarity is another unit for concentration, which is expressed in moles per unit volume. And in the UK, we follow this unit called decimeter cube, which is same as a liter Okay, so somehow we've got to convert these three numbers into moles per decimeter cube. So, to calculate moles, we need mass. Moles is mass upon molar mass. Okay, so we've got a mass unit somewhere sitting here because that's weight over weight. And there is no volume. Oh, there is a volume here in the density. So somehow we have to relate all these three numbers to calculate uh, the molarity. So let's go again using the picket fence method. Okay, so let's, let's start off with the percentage. So what it means is I've got 35 grams of hydrochloric acid for every 100 grams of hydrochloric acid solution. Okay. So then I'm going to draw these vertical bars and the horizontal bars so that uh, to cancel out the units. So what I need in the denominator is volume. That's what I need here. So if I can get rid of this mass unit on the denominator so I can get the volume. So one way of getting rid of the mass unit in the denominator is to employ the density. So what I can now write is 1.18 grams of hydrochloric acid actually is one milliliters of solution. That's what it means. So one milliliters of solution weighs 1.8 grams of hydrochloric acid, plus actually it has water in it, actually, to account for the solution, which is written here. Okay, so we've got the volume in it, and the, the two mass units now can cancel out. Now let's convert the mass here to moles, so I need to get rid of the, the grams. So one way to get rid of the grams is use the molar mass. So what I've got is 36.5 grams equals 1 moles. So now the gram HCl, the gram HCl, they cancel out. So I've got moles here, I've got a milliliters here. Okay, so I've got here 100 milliliters. So if I multiply and divide by 10, just a number, so what I would get is 35 multiplied by 1.18 multiplied by 10 divided by that 100 multiplied by 10 is 1000, that's a milliliters, and which is same as one decimeter cube. And, oh, I forgot the 36.5 here. So 36.5 there. So when I multiply these numbers and divide by 36.5, I should get something around 11.2 or something like that. So I've got 11.2. And what else is on the numerator is, ah, I missed the moles there. So I've got a moles there as well. So I've got 11.2 moles over decimeter cube. Okay, in the next video, we will see how we can make a dilution of two molar hydrochloric acid from this one. Thank you for watching.